Folks are certified goofy. It's his fault that he got finesse. Dude spent 20K on King Von's sister, Kayla V, and didn't get nothing in return. Y'all got to understand, females will treat you like a goofy and finesse you if you allow that shit to happen. So basically, females see what they able to do with you. If you start off the rip buying her shit, doing this down the third floor, she going to automatically expect you to do that type of shit for her all the time. And if you do that shit off the rip, even if she don't fuck with you for real, she know you spending that bag, so she gonna fake like she fucking with you. A motherfucker like me, she gonna have to actually fuck with me to be around me because I ain't spending shit on a female that's not my girl. Well, I spend bread on a female, like if I trying to go out and do some shit and I'll buy her, yeah, I spend bread with her, but she ain't finna ask me for shit and think I'm finna do that shit. And y'all know females love to expose motherfuckers, so she posted the messages. But if you're trying to make bread without working a job, just check out my bio and you can run up moolah through your phone. But this is a prime example of what females do if you're a goofy. They're going to get what they get out of you, and once you're not giving that shit up no more, they're going to treat your ass like the goofy you are. Now I see why black motherfuckers began the snow bunnies. He said he a trophy husband with three wives. They work while he stay at home. I know for a fact ain't no black women doing this shit. If you got three black women and y'all all in a relationship together, you got to have that bag. You can't have no bag doing that shit with black women. And folks look like he living a happy life right now. But honestly, this couldn't be me. I don't feel right relying on anybody. I prefer to make my own money. Not saying there's anything bad with what he doing, but I just can't live like that. I know Diddy got to spend hella money on lawyer fees, and he ain't making no bread due to all the allegations, so I understand why he's selling everything. Diddy is selling his L.A. mansion for $70 million following the FBI raid. He purchased a home for $40 million back in 2014. And motherfuckers wondering how he's selling the house for so much more, but you got to understand, he bought that shit in 2014 when shit was cheap. Everything is expensive as hell now, so his house is probably worth 70 million now currently in 2024 honestly he probably doing a deal with y'all because if it was a real estate agent or some shit selling that shit it probably would have been like a hundred million but due to all the things that p diddy did inside that house motherfuckers probably don't want that shit like you being inside that house it might look nice but it's probably gonna feel off because a lot of off shit was going on in that house for sure Motherfuckers making jokes talk about Diddy probably put a whole bunch of hidden cameras inside the house to be able to watch the people once he sell it. And that's what I'm saying. With all the allegations Diddy got going on, motherfuckers don't want to be in that house because you never know with the diddler. Get the fuck out of here with that postpartum shit. Now, I know that's a real thing, you feel me? But women been was having kids and shit, and now all of a sudden... This shit is so much of a big problem. A 16-year-old baby unalive after mother claims she squeezed her too hard while burping her. Now, the father claimed the woman is suffering from postpartum depression in the weeks leading up to their newborn baby being unalive. I don't understand how motherfuckers could use postpartum as an excuse to do some messed up shit like this to a baby. And honestly, I don't even know why they bringing up postpartum if this shit was supposedly an accident because they said the mother was trying to burp the baby and she said she squeezed the baby too hard. I didn't even know you supposed to squeeze a baby when burping them. I thought you just, you know, pat them on the back a couple times until they burp. I thought that's how it's supposed to go. But the investigators ain't slow. They said they don't believe the baby got unalived on accident, so they launched the investigation on her. And I understand postpartum depression is a real thing, but listen, it's too many mothers out here doing messed up shit to their kids and then saying, oh, it's postpartum depression. Like, nah, gang, postpartum depression been was around, and motherfuckers wasn't doing no wild ass shit with their kids. Like, it probably happened every here and there, but this shit is happening too much. But what y'all think on that shit? I think she intentionally did that shit because it ain't no way you squeezing a baby to burp them. And why the fuck they bringing up postpartum? I think they did that shit as a motherfucking like backup plan if they find out what she actually did wasn't an accident. Man, fuck them baby showers. You will not see me attending this type of shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. They said no gifts, no entry. We told everyone this beforehand, so I was surprised when people thought, we would let them slide when they arrived empty-handed. We didn't. And I know it's common for motherfuckers brain shit for baby showers and shit, but you telling a the motherfucker they can't come if they don't bring some shit? Like, that's crazy as hell. Because I'm the type of motherfucker that if I hear someone say that shit, 
I go returning that shit just because, like, bro, if I want to support the baby shower and all that shit, it don't matter if I ain't bringing shit. I'm there to support what the fuck you got going on. And they said they saved 7322 because this rule. I ain't going to cap to you, man. I thought this was shit was like a celebration because y'all having kids and shit. I didn't know it was help me take care of my kids. And those not really gifts. She should have said, we are asking for motherfucking help to take care of our baby. So we need everyone to bring something to the baby shower. Because a gift is you just bringing some shit out the kindness of your heart because you wanted to. No one don't got to tell you to give a gift. That's the point of a gift. Anyone in the UK, this is why motherfuckers be making jokes about the UK. A UK man carrying a six-inch Legend of Zelda sword was sentenced to four months in prison. As y'all can see, this the sword next to a motherfucking ruler. As you can see, it's not big at all. Now, y'all probably wondering how the fuck they even find out he had that shit. And that's because they said he was supposedly brandishing it. But he said it's just a fidget toy to keep his hands busy. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't have said it's a fidget toy. I just would have said it's a motherfucking keychain that I'm motherfucking playing with. Because that's what the fuck it looked like. He even got a motherfucking keychain loop on that motherfucker. It's like that shit is some shit that you can motherfucking buy at a motherfucking Disney Channel souvenir store or some shit. And you know what's crazy? In America... A motherfucking kid could probably walk around with that shit and no one ain't gonna say shit about it. Cause that shit honestly looked like a motherfucking toy. I was walking around with motherfucking like the little multi tools and shit when I was younger and that shit was an actual blade and no one ain't give a fuck about that shit. Nobody gives a fuck about this goofy ass law. Reminder, no 4th of July fireworks in Chicago this year. Do y'all know it was never really legal to pop fireworks in Chicago? And motherfuckers pop fireworks every fucking year. I literally just seen motherfuckers popping fireworks downtown. And 12 just looked at their ass and said, you know you're not supposed to be doing that shit. And they kept on doing that shit. But who the fuck they thought they was to tell us we can't pop fireworks on the 4th when the rest of America is popping fireworks on the 4th? Except for them goofy states. I don't know. Probably New York and Cali probably can't pop fireworks. And I wouldn't be surprised because those are some goofy ass states like motherfucking Illinois. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I'm pretty sure it's the same in every state where fireworks ain't legal. They still gonna pop them bitches on the 4th because it's what you're supposed to do on the motherfucking 4th. It's motherfucking tradition. The only thing they could try to do is stop motherfuckers from getting them. And if you can't stop them, then motherfuckers gonna be popping them. I ain't gonna lie. If multiple people popping them, they can't do shit. Especially in Chicago because if you tell one motherfucker to stop... And the other motherfuckers doing it over there, they're going to be like, hell no, nah, gang. If they ass doing it, you ain't finna tell me to stop doing that shit. You got me fucked up. If your female got a celebrity crush, your ass is a certified goofy. I ain't going to lie to you. You need to kick her to the curve. I've been with saying this shit, but J. Dot Breezy literally said the same shit. If she got a celebrity crush, leave that be alone. Now, he didn't explain why, but I'm going to explain why. So, basically, if a motherfucking female got a celebrity crush... Obviously, she will be with that celebrity crush if she got the opportunity to. She just not capable of being with her celebrity crush, so she got to settle with what she could get, which is basically you. It's one thing for your female to have a celebrity crush, but it's another thing for your female to tell you, oh, her celebrity crush is fine as hell and all that other shit. That means she look at you as a certified goofy. I ain't going to lie to you. And if females say, oh, if I ain't going to see him, it don't matter. But now, nah, shorty, you only supposed to have a crush on the motherfucker that you with. If you got a crush on other motherfuckers, obviously you don't like that motherfucker as much as you supposed to like him. 